Welcome, APRA members and Excel Curious Fundraising Professionals to Velocity Scores 1, 2, 3. My name is Joseph Gonzalez, Associate Director of Foundation Systems and Operations at Earth Justice. And today I will be walking us through how to develop a velocity score based on giving patterns for segments of donors to your organization. What is a velocity score? A velocity score analyzes the rate of change in giving over a defined period. Why create a velocity score? Doing this type of equation helps us identify giving patterns and increases of giving, decreases of giving, and donors who may be giving at the same rate year over year. This helps us think strategically. Also, it's a way to recognize our donors for their increase, for example, also gives us an opportunity to cater our message to donors who are decreasing. So let's talk about a velocity score. The way we're going to approach this today is to take the total giving in the most recent year divided by the average giving of in the last three years. The equation that will, the numbers that we'll end up with are rates of increasing, decreasing, and steadiness based on a single digit number. This is where Excel is our best friend. Let's talk about the steps. The steps to derive a velocity score include First, identifying our data set. Typically, five years of giving is good, but we'll only be using three years of giving to analyze our data set today. And then also next is to create your Excel function, which we'll go through. And then as well, at the end, we'll want to check our math. So let's skip over to Excel. So here you see I have a sample data set, and I've already highlighted for us the years of giving that we'll be examining. But you'll notice here that we, we've already captured five years of giving plus the current year of giving. The first step we're gonna do, and I like to do this in two steps by creating two columns, is one to take the average giving and then also to create the actual velocity score itself. So in order to do this, you see I've already inserted two columns next to the columns, the data of the data example um, of which to derive our equation. So here I'll start off with three years average giving. And then the very next column, we'll put the velocity score. Now this can be done in a single equation, but I like to break this down into two different columns, just, for, just to keep things simple. So in this first equation, I want, I'm going to want to take the average of the past three years of giving. And we can see for that first column, it's zero. Now, my velocity score, as we stated before, is the total given in the most recent year divided by the given in the last three years. So now that we have this three years of give, we know what the average is. This is a simple equation of taking this column and dividing it by our average column. Now you can see we can't divide by zero. So we'll take these out, out accordingly. But in order to get the equation to uh, copy itself all the way down my 
my column, I'm just going to click here on this button. And that'll give me the average for those years. And I'll do the same for here. And you can see I've already, and you can see I've already got numbers populated. What I'm going to want to do with this particular cell is format it. to be a number, right now it's under currency, but we're going to want it to be a number with zero decimal places. So use my $3 turned into three, I will take out those that can't be divided by zero. We'll also take out those that are zero because what we really want to identify is the numbers one through three here. And then we can see right on top, we've already have donors whose giving is increasing over time. As you can see here, that three represents that. Whereas for one, this number one, we can see the, get, the giving based on our equation is fairly steady. And that's how you create a velocity score. Just to get back to the equation, and what those results mean. We can see for those numbers that are increasing above one, steady at one, and for those that are decreasing. And, we're, and it's, it's all done in three sim simple steps. First, we identify our data set create our Excel function, and then at the end, we check our math. Thank you for spending your time with me today.